with this legislation, the Danish government recognizes that there's a violation of the rights of the child. And even though these persons are now grown-ups, uh, it has been a violation all the way through their life because they have actually grown up without having a, a legal father. This legislation has to show what they can do now to, first of all, find uh, their legal father and also, second of all, uh, how they are going to deal with the whole issue if and when they find this person. It has been obvious that um, the Danish public has not really known about this issue. Uh, there has not been too much attention from the press on this issue, but what we tend to see is that uh, situations that we know about in Greenland, uh, the Danish public doesn't really know about. And my experience is that people get very surprised <laughs> when they hear about uh, the whole case of Legally Fatherless. We only have estimates of how many people can be affected and it will be up to every single individual if they want to go and actually search for their legal father. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually very happy that the, that the Danish government and the Greenland government are dealing with this issue in a very pragmatic and practical way so that we actually end up having legislation that closes up the holes that were in the previous legislation. But it's definitely a chapter in the history of Greenland and Denmark that needs to be uh, known by future generations so that we make sure that this doesn't happen again.